Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about programming and I'm going to try and do Hello YouTube in as many programming languages as I know. Now, if you're wondering what Hello YouTube is, when programmers start with programming languages, usually they try and make a piece of code that displays Hello World. Now I'm going to try this but say Hello YouTube. And basically, these are the programming languages I know. A lot of them are very old, very basic, but um, this is more of an appeal to other people who know how to do this as well in their own programming languages to please post a visit video response on how to do it so we can build a good collection of different programming languages on how to do this. So let's get started. I'm going to start with batch, which is an MS DOS batch file. So I'm going to start with at echo off so you can't see the commands that it's doing. Let's say echo hello YouTube and that's it and we're going to save it as a batch file hello.bat and oh I'm going to put pause at the end so you can see it otherwise it will come off quickly so double click it hello YouTube and it's done press the key so next up GW basic this, is, this was designed in like 1980 or something but it's a good starting point for uh, people who want to learn programming now the, you had to write numbers to do things sequentially so I have to say 10 CLS, which means clear screen, 20 print hello YouTube, which means print it to the screen, and 30 end. Done. So we press F2 and it runs and it says hello YouTube and OK. So it's finished the program. So this is a very old version and there's an upgrade from it which is QBasic, which is a nice little blue thing. This was made in like 1980 as well. So instead of writing numbers, you can just type it print clear screen print hello I strongly recommend you use this first if you want to try anything so hello YouTube and I don't need to type end for this one and then just press F5 to run it and it's done and press new key to continue this is a good starting point I, I did this like when I was about 8 or 9 or something <laughs> my dad taught me it so uh, Visual Basic uh, if Microsoft Office or Word or anything just open up Word or Excel or whatever go to macros, make new macro, call it a name and you'll enter something like this um, just go to forms, uh, create new form and I've already made one, it's, all I've done is put a button on it and change the caption here, uh, if I click it, the caption to press me I uh, haven't changed anything else so when, you, when we press that button I'm going to try and get it so it changes this press me bit to hello YouTube so all I need to do is say um, the name of the button which is command button 1 and then the caption so all I need to do is say command button 1 dot caption and then say equals hello YouTube and then I'll save it and we'll run it so it says use form 1 press me and it's changed to hello YouTube so great success so that is Visual Basic next up HTML so Displaying in a web page, I'm going to try and do this with correct formatting. So HTML uh, head. These are tags. I'm going to say uh, title, which is going to be up here, and it's going to say hello. Slash title closes the tag, and then I'm going to say slash head to close the head tag. And I say body, and all I'm going to type is I'll put it in bold or something. B hello YouTube close the bold statement and close the body statement and close the HTML uh, tag as well so that should be correctly formatted so I'm now going to put it as hello.html and change the type to all files so it's now on the desktop I can now open it in Firefox uh, it says hello YouTube and hello in the corner so that's HTML next up PHP PHP works a little differently it has the same sort of tags as HTML but you've got to start the PHP code with uh, this and then I'm going to type uh, like we did in QBasic print uh, actually now it's echo I think or you can do both um, echo hello YouTube and then we're going to end it with a colon which just says end of command and then we're going to say question mark and then the tag so hopefully this will echo YouTube onto a page now you can't do this locally unfortunately um, 
I'm going to call it index.php. You have to upload this to a server because if you open it in Firefox, it doesn't display anything. So you need to upload it to a server because this is server side coding. And I've got a test thing here already, so I'm just going to drag this index.php file onto my test server. See, it's done already. And we're going to visit it in my web browser. So I'm going to go to my abandoned site, mob3.co.uk forward slash test. And here it says, hello YouTube. And it hasn't, um, we didn't do a title here, so there's no title at the top, but it said, hello YouTube. So that is PHP and printing hello YouTube to a screen. Next up is Java. Now I've opened the Java Eclipse client. I've said, make a new file and then make a new class, which is this button here. And then I've called it hello. I've then put at the top import javax.swing.j option pane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a J option pane, which is a message box. Um, you just need to put this at the top if you want to try it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type J option pane dot show message, hopefully this will be right, dialogue, and then in brackets null. And then the argument one here, I'm not sure why I filled that in. <laughs> We're going to say, hello, YouTube. And then we're going to end it at the end with a colon. So hopefully this has all changed. Yep, this looks all right. And we're going to run it with the play button. And set select resources, we're going to save it. And it's a message box that says, hello, YouTube. So these are all the languages I know. Uh, at the moment, um, I urge you to, if you know things like C++, C Sharp, uh, Python, oh I haven't shown you Python, uh, Python's another, I'll add that to the list, <laughs> Python's another language, but I've just got the shell here, and um, this works the same way as QBasic, uh, I'm not going to save it to a file because you need a lot of extra coding, so I'm going to do a say print, hello YouTube. And you'll notice this printed it there. So um, that's that basically. <laughs> I can't really do much else with Python. So that was Python. Uh, if you know anything like uh, or any programming language really, then please post a video response and hopefully we can build a good collection. And I'll write your name in the description and the language that you've done and a link to your YouTube or anything like that. So um, thanks for watching my video. These are the languages I've done. Feel free to check them out. I strongly recommend if you're completely starting out, you try out QBasic. Even though it's an old language, uh, you can start with this and you can just run it from inside a box. So um, I will, as I've got enough time, I'll show you a little bit more with QBasic. So I say CLS print uh, 1, 2, 10. And you, know, you can start making a loop. So you say 4n equals 1 to 10. So it's going to say, I'm going to loop this n times. Um, so it's going to loop it 10 times. And it's going to say, print n. So you're printing, because at the moment n is 0, and then you're asking it to go from 1 to 10. And then, so it's going to print 1 to 10 on the screen. And then you're just going to say, next n, or next, it doesn't matter. And so it should print 1 to 10 on the screen and have, and also say 1 to 10 at the top. So. Uh, you can also get it to print nothing. Uh, so if we have a sort of a gap in between, we just say print. And that's about it really. It should print 1 to 10 in words and then 1 to 10 in numbers because this is a loop. Press F5 and you see it's done it. 1 to 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so now 9, 10. Now if you want it to, you can get, actually get this to go for ages. Uh, so you say 1 to a million or something and it will keep going all the way to a million. If you want to break out of this, you say control and then break, and then it stops it. And then you need to go alt, run, restart, and then it'll go to the top. And if you want it to print um, a crossways, you just put a colon on the end, and then you'll notice uh, it doesn't work. Uh, oh, sorry, no, I put it in the wrong bit, that's why. Okay. Oh no, what's it done? There we go. Um, need to do it after print, sorry, not after the four. So it's print n, colon. And that's it, it's done it all across the screen. So that's about it. I can't really show you any more. This is just very basic in QBasic. So if you want to start out with that. So if you like my videos, please rate, comment, subscribe if you like them. So thanks for watching my video.